What's up guys, Johnny here back with more Unkilled today. It's been a while since my last Unkilled video. There was a big update in Shadowgun Legends and I had to skip a week or two of Unkilled. But I'm back with Unkilled Wednesdays and in today's video, I'm going to open a weapon chest. I got 25 minutes left. It's been there for three days and I just been able to gather the gold that I needed. I need 6,000 gold to open and uh, yeah, I just got it minutes ago. So we're going to open that. And because of the weapon chest, I'm going to have another unkilled chest. So today should be a good one. Fingers crossed for good loot. Now, a lot of stuff happened since my last unkilled video. I've got to show you guys what I got. First thing is my Joel progress. Joel level 79. Uh, I had a Joel card or a Joel blueprint in the shop for 1500 gold. And I was able to buy it. I went straight to level 66. And a couple days after, in my daily free chest, I got another Joe card. So now I'm able to go to max level 99. So I'm stuck at 79. It cost a lot of cash to upgrade, but I could do a couple more levels. So let's do it right now. So yeah, it's gonna spend all my intel. I still have a bit of cash. So I'm level 84 now, okay? It costs a lot of cash and now I'm out of intel, but still uh, from 33 to 60 something, it did cost quite a bit. So it's slowing me down on my weapons upgrade. Now, since my last video, I was able to complete the whole campaign. So I got more stuff. I got new skins for my MG42. So I have this red one now. And I also have the kind of desert camo or something. It says Australian Army camouflage pattern. So I got two skins for my MG42. Now, craziest thing I got lately in one of these weapons chests, uh, full Barrett M82. And I also got a skin right after in an unkilled chest. Now, this is the skin I got. Uh, it's red, orange, and green with the stripes and stars. It's pretty cool. Now, I really love this weapon, guys. It's freaking powerful and it really helped me progress through the campaign. Now, last thing I got is the shovel. I heard it's the best melee weapon in the game, but I need to spend cash to upgrade it because right now it sucks. It's not powerful enough. I need to upgrade, but for that, I need cash. So it's tough to manage the cash in this game and I hope you guys will leave me some tips below, but so many things to do. Upgrade weapons, upgrade your character, and also uh, the, the army, your zombie army, it's also pretty expensive. Now let's not waste time and open these chests before the timer runs out. So let's go with the weapon chest first. So 6,000 gold for that. And I'm gonna get some uh, a bit of money on top. So let's open. All right, three purples. That means uh, it's gonna be some parts of weapons. So eight times the hunting bow. Now hunting bow again eight and M16 seven times. So that's it for the weapons chest. Now we're gonna have an unkilled chest. Let's do this. So I don't know what I want right now. I mean unkilled chests are awesome. I don't know maybe skins. Skins are always nice right? All right what else can you get? Two legendaries. So let's go with the purple first and crossbow it is eight. Now first legendary is a skin uh, for my uh, short range weapon CBJMS a new skin we're gonna check it and last one is a skin for the shovel what uh, this is awesome dude with the skull now this is the CBJ it's a short range weapon it was my first epic short range weapon so I did put quite some upgrades on it and it helped me progress to the campaign also when you have uh, when you need short range weapon kills that was the one I used I didn't have a good shotgun at that time so this is one of the skins I got and this is another one snake lovers edition now let's check the campaign I got 436 out of 450 stars so I'm still missing a few stars but my big problem right now is I'm stuck okay I'll be honest with you guys my weapons don't have enough power right now to complete the last couple stars I need so my only hope is that I get weapons back and when I get a weapon pack it really is powerful and I'm able to clear or at least try to clear uh, the last objectives that I need. So I'm gonna try one of these because my MG42, although it's a great weapon, it is really, really weak to try to do the mission 129. So I need 10 multi kills and I need to remove 40 limbs. So we're gonna use that weapons pack. So 10 multi kills, 40 limbs, let's try. So I guess we gotta aim for the head to try to remove limbs because headshots count for, for limbs, right? 
But also multi kills means if you see one zombie alone, maybe wait and try to group up. Try to get multi kills first, I guess. So let's see. Because I don't really need to protect the survivor, right? So I'll go for multi kills. Let's go. So I only got one multi kill there. Let's wait. That's three multi kills, but the time is a bit short. That would be four multi kills. Five. Yeah, I have to take it easy, I think. If I clear a whole pack, it counts for one multi kill, right? Six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Now I gotta remove limbs. I need. Yeah, I'm done, guys. This is three stars. As long as you protect the survivor, it cannot be a fell. Cannot fell. Twenty seconds. Alright, that was easy. If you have an OP weapon like that, it's such a difference. Seriously, with MG42, I could barely kill zombies. That was crazy. That's two more stars. Not 438, so that means 12 stars remaining. Now, I guess I'll go with that one, guys. Got 35 kills with a melee weapon and try to finish with 110 HP. So, I'm probably... I don't think I want to use my help, but... At least try to get the 35 kills that would be my main objective because i'm a long way from having a good shovel so yeah let's try that one guys oh bolt mission i don't even remember maybe i should have played it first see what it is before i go and use my weapon pack but just focus on the kills and whatever happened next we need 35 so let's go then the hp I could at the end use my uh, my gadget, but don't really want to. I want to keep it for other missions. Intruder detected. Yeah, I think I remember that mission. Intruder There's a lot of zombies. Detected. So if I can one-shot them, it shouldn't be too hard to get 35. I mean, there's way more than you need. Just keep the finger on the trigger and... If I can stay healthy, but I think there will be maybe mega zombies later, so. But at the same time, I got the, the freaking Gatling gun, so. 24. Need five more. Getting there. Yeah, okay. So I got the kills now, so just try to not take damage maybe. Because I'd like to get rid of the last star at the same time, but if I can avoid using my gadgets, I don't know, does it, you call that gadgets the thing at the bottom? So yeah, that guy can mess me up, right? But I got that, so... Oh no, I took damage. Yeah, I did use that. Oof. Come on. I need the HP. I'm really close. There's gonna be something else, right? I missed the drops. I need to survive. Dude! That's such a heartbreaker, man. There was HP on the ground, I couldn't get there. Beginner's mistake. 
And that one hurt because I'll have to play it again. But no more weapon pack. So I, I was able to get three more stars today. I'm really not happy I missed that last one because it was there on the ground, guys. Oof. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the chest opening. If you did, leave a like and leave a comment below if you want more unkilled. Uh, I will be back soon with more. Don't forget to watch my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends and Unkilled. I'll be back soon. Take care.